Hello, this is Alex from Taiwan. Today, I'm going to present a case treated here by Dr. Chris Chan, a difficult CAS3 case. Patient came with 5 mm negative overjet asking for non-surgical treatment. Intraoral examination showed he had more than full cusp class 3 molar relationship and midline deviation. Seth measurements showed skeletal class 3 with an AMB of minus 3 degrees, retroclined lower incisor and concave profile. How do we finish this case without surgery in 40 months? With a huge profile improvement that was also seen in Seth measurements. Superimposition showed clockwise rotation of mandible, retroclination and retraction of lower incisors, and improved profile. Again, we see improvement at the lower teeth with both the lower incisors and first molars being retracted. How was this achieved? Simple, by extracting upper third molars and lower second molars along with three keys. Key number one, buckle shelf screw with power chain and class three elastics to provide a strong enough force for lower teeth distalization and also for upper teeth protraction. We use a three and a half ounce force elastic for this case. Key number two, anterior bite plane made from flowable composite resin to disoclude and to jump over anterior crossbite with the help of elastics and tongue blade. You can ask your patient to wiggle the tongue blade while they're at home. Key number three, since lower teeth retraction often results in over retroclined lower incisors, using the correct brackets for torque control becomes very important. In class three cases, it is usually best to use a high torque bracket. For Damon users that do not have company produced high torque brackets for lower anterior teeth, simply place your low torque brackets upside down. The opposite goes to upper teeth where you place low torque brackets to prevent flaring of the upper anterior teeth. To summarize, class three cases can be treated by adding buckle shelf screw with class three elastics for lower teeth retraction, anterior bite plane for disoccluding the teeth to jump over cross bites, and correct torque selection for brackets, which consists of low torque brackets for upper and high torque brackets for lower. Remember, the lower brackets are placed upside down. Thank you.